In the 1990s, after 27 years in prison, Nelson Mandela was set free. He knew during that time that he was either being trained to lead his people or be an example by his life itself in jail. He was made the leader of South Africa and he put together a commission to investigate atrocities committed by the former regime. One particular story was brought to the public's eye when years before a band of men led by a Lieutenant Van der Broek had taken a husband and a son of a particular lady and set them both on fire and made her watch as they suffered and died. The lady would say the last word her husband said was forgive them. Now eight years had passed and Van der Broek was brought to trial and they brought in this mother and widow and asked her what she thought the punishment should be. She said, I want three things to happen. The first thing is I want Mr. Van de Broek to take me to where he killed my husband. I would like to gather up some of the ashes and dirt and give him a proper burial. Secondly, she said, he took my family, but I have a lot of love to give. I want him to visit me twice a month so I can be a mother to him. And then thirdly, she said, I want him to know these are not just words, but I mean them. So I want someone to help me across the court so that I can give him a hug. As she began to rise from her seat, overcome by emotion, Van der Broek fainted. There was silence in the courtroom until someone began to sing Amazing Grace. Eventually, all the people in the room gathered in to that heartfelt song. No matter what you've been through, or how far you may feel you are from God, know that He is right there in the midst of your life. And incredible things can happen in a moment when you simply trust in His grace.